Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'll discuss how to capture scan data using networked Sure wireless devices. Wireless Workbench 6 can connect to a bunch of different wireless systems, including wireless receivers, in-ear monitor transmitters, and other scan-capable devices. And one really cool feature that Wireless Workbench offers is the ability to use those wireless devices as scanners to then import spectrum data into Wireless Workbench. You'll notice I'm connected to a lot of different wireless microphone receivers and IEM transmitters. And uh, what I'm going to show you is how to use these devices to capture scan data and import it right into Wireless Workbench. Now I'm going to show you how this all works in the frequency coordination view, where there's a built-in uh, plot viewer, this coordination plot. But the same exact mechanics are, uh, mechanics are going to work for other plotting utilities like the frequency plot, which is a little bit more of a purpose-built scan um, utility. So on this left sidebar here, I've got a bunch of different buckets where scan data can be uh, put. And in this recent scans uh, gear, if I click it here, it'll open a dialog that shows me all of the devices I have on the network that can be used to scan. Now you'll notice a couple are selected here, but when I check and uncheck here, you'll see that these devices, when I check them, show their scannable range in the spectrum in this green coverage bar. So what I'll do is I'll select, uh, let's select the K51 band. Um, if I select this band um, of ULXD, that's a channel of one of my ULXD receivers, and it will scan from 606 to 670. When I press start, what this does is it overtakes that wireless channel and it uses it as a scanner. So you wouldn't want to do this with a, a channel of wireless gear that you're actually expecting to use during a production or while it's receiving the transmission of a transmitter. And in order to capture clean data, typically you turn off all your transmitters to make sure you're capturing the environment as it is. But when I press start, you'll notice the spectrum view is unfolding in front of us. And what's happening is the wireless receiver is tuning into all of its different frequencies and reporting the, um, the amplitude in DBM back to Wireless Workbench so we can play plot it right on the screen. Uh, now this is a pretty simple way to get even more value out of Sure network devices. They're not just wireless receivers, they can be spectrum scanners as well, at least for their operational bandwidth. Now the scanning that goes on in the frequency coordination tab is typically uh, done just a one, one sweep through the operational band of a receiver. You'll notice if I open this dialog back up, um, for this particular device I'm using, in this sweep column, uh, this is a selectable thing. Right now it says single. What this means is Workbench is going to take a single sweep um, of the band range of, of, these dev of this device. And when it's done with that single sweep from the lowest to the top end of the frequency range, it'll stop. I could have also changed that to continuous if I wanted to continuously scan. Um, but the, I mean, the novelty of this is I'm actually able to visualize the spectrum. I can see what's going on in the RF, in the frequency domain, um, and then later use this for other purposes in wireless workbench like frequency coordination. Uh, now, the, uh, this is a really handy utility, and it gets even more value out of Sure network devices with this tight integration with Wireless Workbench. I just want to show you a couple other things you can do with this scan data once you've captured it. So you'll notice this device channel name Sure is running in the background. If I wanted to stop the scan, I could click that little stop button, but I'll let it finish. And now that it's finished, you can see the frequency coordination view is properly loaded. This I'll make that full screen. Now, I can save this scan as a file by right-clicking on it and choosing to save. And then I'll save this as scan from Friday. Um, and when I save that file, I can now send it to somebody else if they uh, want to do a frequency coordination in the same venue and I can let them use that data. Or I can save it as an archive if I think I'm going to come back to the same place later and do a frequency coordination. This file can stay on record for me. Um, but I, I really just wanted to show you how you can connect to network sure wireless devices and use them beyond their general purpose as a wireless receiver or transmitter um, and use them as a spectrum scanner in their bandwidth to feed wireless workbench 6. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any questions or comments or you'd like to see additional types of tutorials, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks.